All right, so this is all going to be about rendering and lighting and, and turntables. So I'm going to start with VPR render. If you want to have something that looks nicer than just exporting like a JPEG or a PNG, go over here to render and drag that over. Under shadows, I just used the top ones here. So if you have your angle at zero, you're going to get a hard shadow. If you bring your angle up a little bit, you need to bring up your rays gradually. You'll have a softer shadow. So you can see it's got a weird sort of not consistent shadow. And you have to bring up your rays more. For a face, usually like 20 to 30 I do, and then rays can go up to like 300, but again, gradually, because it can take a while to render. So I'm going to keep that at zero, keep my rays up a bit, because I do like a hard shadow for flower. And then for the shadow depth, that just kind of gives it a nice soft look. And the depth changes the light. So I just leave those at zero. You can save these settings, which I recommend under your render, just go save. And then every time you're ready to render, you just load it. You can also bring in lights. So that's here. And then you just drag that over. That's your main light. If you want to add a light, you just click on it and you can change the angle of it. If you have shadows, then your light will cast a shadow. You can change the intensity. You can add a whole bunch of lights. But I just want one. And you can also save your light settings too. So that's a good idea. And then if you want to make a turntable. Oh, actually, first we'll do document here. Under back, change the range to zero, and then you can change the color. So when you're doing a movie, just drag that over. I'm not going to do it under BPR because it will take forever. So it's going to take a really long time to render. Just keep that in mind. I just made one, so I have to delete that. Just, you want, it's going to be a turntable, so don't click on that yet. You want documents, so that's just going to be like the art area, large. I leave pretty much this. This is usually 24, so I, I set it to 30 FPS. And then make sure this is zero. That's really important. This is going to be the axis that it goes around. So if you press W to bring up your, your uh, gizmo, and then if you just hover over, you'll see below it says rotate Y, and then rotate Z. So that's where it's going to rotate. So I want mine to go around this way. So I'm going to make sure that it's on Y. And then I just leave all that stuff. And then for, this is really important, if you want to have the logo, ZBrush logo or not, if you want to have it totally blank, you need to make sure that you use both of these, overlay image and title image, and zero everything out under fade in and opacity. And then once you have all that done, you just hit turntable. And when it's done, you have to export it and I can't remember. I think it saves as like a, 
It saves us as an MPEG, so you'll probably have to change your format.